Brian Little. Oh my god! Oh my god. started on today's video i just want to let you guys know i have been fishing saltwater like crazy for the past couple months and what's been happening is i've been just going out fishing 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 and i'm not editing anything that's why i've been lacking with the videos like i have been fishing but the video has been lacking and also this year has been kind of off with the fishing for me because i haven't been able to fish as much as i would like to and then also the fact that the bait's been kind of weird this year the mullet run's been weird this year just like everything about this year has been weird. Like every year is so different. And we always say in the beginning of the year, oh, this is gonna be our best year. And it's like, sometimes these things don't line up. That's just the way it is. So in today's video, I'm actually gonna, I have a total of six different days of fishing that I have on my editing screen right now that I'm working on. But I don't have any intros for each of these days and I don't have like any context as to what's happening. So what I'm gonna be doing is after I finish each segment of each day, I'm gonna come. You're gonna come back here, and I'm gonna explain what happened that day because it's a little bit confusing. Like this whole entire video is actually gonna be split into two separate videos. I got this first half, which you guys are watching now, and the second half is gonna be uploaded sometime after this. We're gonna head right now to the first day of fishing, and I'm gonna explain to you guys right now what happened that first day. So I'm actually looking back at these videos, and it's actually been a very long time since I've been fishing at the jetty. So this first day that I'm fishing, uh, this was before Hurricane Dorian was even here. And this was actually like months prior. And what happened is we had a big pile up of this brown water and the brown seaweed that came in. So in that brown water, there was a lot of bait fish and there was a lot of snook. So I was throwing the voodoo mullet and I was able to get into a bunch of little snook. There were some bigger ones mixed in, but I was only able to catch small snook. Tide's coming in till eight, so might be here for a little while till the bite picks up or the fish start, you know, feeding. Hopefully I'm wrong though. Hopefully they start feeding sooner. Oh, there we go, fish. What do we got there? Oh, snook. Yep. Oh, dude. Oh, he's still on, he's still on, he's still on. I thought he came off. He's small, tiny, tiny, very tiny. <laughs> Micro. That's a good sign though. <laughs> Very good sign. Wow, he's going bananas. All right, we're gonna flip. Very, very tiny snook. First fish of the day. On the voodoo mullet. All right, there we go. Got the hook out. Okay. All right. Okay. So first snook of the day, very, very tiny fish, but uh, came right there on the voodoo mullet. He kind of kind of got hooked really well. They're very beautiful fish. Look at him, he's very clean. Very clean looking fish right there. All right, baby, let's let him go. There he goes. Oh, jacks are going ham over there. I don't know if I can reach him. Oh my gosh, dude, there's snook. Oh my gosh, the snooks are blowing up right here. Those are snook. Those are snook, bro. Those aren't jacks. All right, guys. So I've been fishing the rocks for a little while. Nothing there. And I just looked over here on the beach and I saw some stuff blowing up. So. Oh, that was a snook. Little guy. That was a snook. Oh, just got dumped right there. Sitting right there. Oh, again! Three times, bro. What is going on? Okay, all right. Dude. All right, little guy. 
I don't know why the heck he was bleeding. Another one. Oh, he's released on that one. They're so tiny. Look at him. Another little one. Like sitting in this nasty stuff, it's crazy. So this is day two. Hurricane Dorian was in the Atlantic and it was coming our way and we still had the brown water and we were also getting king tide, which was taking out the brown water and all the seaweed, which was a good thing. So on this specific day, uh, we were fishing and there was a lot of tarpon around, a lot of smaller baits and the tarpon were blasting the small baits, but we couldn't reach them, they were so far away. So I was throwing the hoagie pro tail, which I caught a nice snook on in a couple of videos ago off the jetty. So I was throwing that, grinding that out, and I hooked into something really big. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is, but just watch this part of the video. I lost something huge and it would have been one of my PBs. So definitely check this out. King tied action right there. Got hit? Yeah. Guarantee you those are snuck. They're eating small baits. You see, they see something big going by, they're gonna munch it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you got him. That's the one that was that was that's messing that's you up. Oh. oh, came off. That's the, that's the little guy that That's the one that was, that was bumping you. Yeah. Oh, dude, I got hit. On the pro tail, I got hit by something. I got hit by something. I didn't know what, I didn't see what it was. Tarpon, possibly. Possible. Oh! I got one! Dude! Dude, it's big. It's big. Oh my god. Oh my gosh! Holy smokes! Oh my gosh, that's a PB! That's a PB, bro! Oh my gosh! That's a PB! Holy smokes! Dude! Oh! No! Oh! You lost it! No, 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 no! What happened? What happened? You oh, just shit. spit it! Oh my gosh, dude! Did that's you see it. Did you see the head on that thing? It was a big one. That was over. That was over 30. That, that was a PB. Bro, that was 40. Oh my gosh. Dude, he hit it right there. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what happened? He just spit it. Dude, that's heartbreaking. Okay, so this is day number three, and this is when Hurricane Dorian was touching Florida on the um, East Coast. So we know that we didn't get hit by Dorian, but it kind of like skidded across us. So this was on that day when the hurricane was kind of skidding across us and the fish were absolutely fired up. There was literally bait everywhere, birds going crazy, and there were snook, tarpon, mackerels, bluefish, like literally everything was out there. And there was multiple big snook caught, multiple slots caught, and we were able to hook into some nice fish. And there were so many people fishing, and I wasn't able to like run around and record everybody. So there was people fishing on the beach that were catching snook. I was catching snook where I was, and there was other people on the other side of the rocks catching snook as well. So this was, uh, this was, I think it was a Wednesday. This is when the hurricane was, you know, turning and passing us, but we were able to hook into some nice fish. Dude, chomp the tail off. That was a, what? That was a mackerel, bro. The guy said there has been mackerels coming through here. That could have been a mac. That could have been a kuda. Oh, no! That just caught me, that one caught me off guard. Yeah, I don't know what it was. It felt like a snook. It was like that hard thump, hard snook thump. I think they're small, they're like, I think they're little jacks. Oh dude, what the heck? Yo, I got chomped. Come on. Touch the 
water. Dude, it just touched the water, bro. Yeah, I didn't even, I didn't even move it. Oh, big tarpon right there, bro. Cast right there, big tarpon. Yeah. He's not bad. I don't think he's hooked in the mouth. He's like hooked under on his on the bottom. Oh wait. Is he? I don't know. Yeah, he's not bad. Oh, he choked it. No. I'm trying to swing in this way. Land him. Oh, dude, his mouth is so full of pilchards. <laughs> look, look at it. Look at the pilchard right there. Where my mullet is. Oh, yeah. See it? Yeah, yeah. Guys, I don't know if you guys could see that, but this snook's mouth is completely choked with pilchards. Crazy. This guy go. Little one on the voodoo. Look at his guys, look at that mouth right there. Completely stuffed to the max. Okay, so now we're on the final day number four for this uh, video and day number five and six are gonna be in the next video. So day four, there was, obviously I think this was a, I think this was two days after I went after the hurricane and there obviously there was still bait around, there was a bunch of glass minnows around, pilchards mixed in pretty much everywhere and uh, we were, it was kind of on and off. Uh, we did, I did hook into some ladyfish I caught a senate, which was pretty interesting. I've been catching a lot of those lately. It's these barracuda-like fish in the barracuda family. It's got this yellow streak uh, along it. So I, I've caught a few of those. I caught one at Juno, actually. That was the first one I caught. And then there was a bunch of jacks out here and there. No snook caught in this day, I don't think. I think there was some snook that were caught, but they were really small, but I didn't catch them. It was somebody else that caught them. So this was the final day for today's video, and we'll watch the rest of this. Lady fish. Lady fish. Oh, Kuda. It's a Kuda. Oh wait, no. It's a Senate. Wait, is it? Yeah, it's a Senate. Yeah, he's not gonna make it, but whatever. I'm not about to lose my lure. Dude, look at all that nastiness. Stupid mackerels. Goes a seven dollar lure right there. I just got picked up. Okay, so this concludes part one of the two-part video I have going here of the jetty, and we're going to be jumping into part two in the next video, so definitely stay tuned for that. 
and I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in part two of the next video. See you.